everybody welcome back to the bibliovert channel my name is Jacqueline and this is our third vlog for the massive readathon which is a month-long readathon inspired by the series A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass if you have not heard anything about it definitely go check out our announcement video or go to our website bibliovert.com slash readathon to learn a little bit more so the 24 hour readathon has officially begun. I have set an alarm to go off tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we have 23 hours and 57 minutes left. But my hope is to read the rest of the Silver Serpents. I'm about halfway done. I'm absolutely loving it. So the first one was set in Paris. This one is set in Russia and it has been so much fun. I am completely sucked in. I'm so invested. This one has a little bit more of like national treasure-esque vibes to it. Um, and I would say that one of the main characters, Severin, is kind of, he is kind of reminding me of Kaz Brecker in this one just because of like his inner turmoil that he's going through. However, I'm not upset about it. I'm really, really, really liking it. And speaking of Kaz Brecker and Shadow and Bone, this is the second book that I'm hoping to get to today. Um, it's not super long, so I think, fingers crossed, I can finish Silver Serpents and Shadow and Bone, but this is the next book for the Bibliovert podcast. So I definitely want to go ahead and read it. Shadow and Bone is going to meet the prompt, read a book with a film adaptation. Um, and I've read this one actually twice before, so <laughs> this isn't anything new for me. However, I do love this series, so... I am not upset that I'm jumping back into this world. So for today, one of our patrons, Grace, is driving through Tennessee to go to Virginia. So she's staying with me tonight. And I, this is gonna be our first time meeting in person and I am so excited. I cannot wait. So I've, I have most everything around the house done. However, there are a few things that I wanna pick up. And my husband and I are going to go for a picnic today and I'm hoping that while we're there I can finish Silvered Serpents. So let's go ahead and pack that picnic blanket. I think we're gonna stop by a farmer's market to pick up a few things and then yeah we'll picnic. It's a really pretty day. It's kind of overcast um, but it's not too hot yet so I think it's gonna be a lovely day. But let's go read. I'm so excited. If I can finish more than two books today I would love that. However with Grace coming in town, I might not read as much as I thought I would, but I am planning on staying up for at least a little bit tonight. So, I'm so excited. This is my first 24 hour readathon and I cannot wait. So, we have work to do. <laughs> it's gonna be a really good day and I am so excited. Okay, so book one of the 24 hour readathon is officially done. I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous that The Silvered Serpents was not going to live up to my hopes and dreams of The Gilded Wolves. Oh my gosh, was I wrong. There was a lot of tension and typically I don't like miscommunication tropes. Like I'm just, I just want them to communicate, however, it was really artfully done in The Silver Serpents. The plot was really good. It was really intriguing. There were so many twists and turns. There were a lot of riddles to figure out, which I was never successful in doing. There was betrayal and plot twists that I didn't see coming. 
and it was just so good and the way that it ended i need the bronze beast to come out immediately because i just it was so good so I'm not going to bullet journal this one yet because I want to see how many books I can get done in the 24 hours. So I am going to go ahead and start Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. And again, I think I mentioned this earlier, this is my third time reading it, so I know it's gonna be a quick read. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into that. And then really soon, Grace is going to be showing up. So I can't wait to meet her for the first time and I'm so excited. So I'll be checking in with you later on my progress in Shadow and Bone. But this was absolutely a five-star read. I really enjoyed it and I cannot wait for the next one. All right, so it has been a couple days. It is Monday the 21st and the 24 hour readathon is over and it was so much fun. I ended up not staying up the entire night just because I did have a friend in town, um, but 
during that time, I did finish Silvered Serpents by Roshni Trotsky, and I started Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. And since then, I have finished this book. I finished it pretty early this morning. Um, it's so interesting. The first time I read this book, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was incredible, five-star read for sure. Then I read it a second time last year and I was like, oh, well, maybe it's not quite as good as I remembered. I'm gonna give it three and a half stars. This time reading it, uh, cause this is our podcast episode book. I struggled y'all. <laughs> I really, really struggled. I like the overall plot. Um, however, I really don't like the main character, uh, very much at all. Um, I also, when I was reading it this time, I was like, it feels, it feels very similar to like the Twilight Hunger Games Divergent selection series era. And I went and looked and it was published in 2013, which I kind of group all of those together. So it does make sense why it kind of had that feel because it is, you know, older-ish um, and definitely was probably inspired by what was popular during the time. So I was a little bit bummed, I'm not gonna lie, reading it, but it was a quick read, it was easy. I do like the series overall and I really enjoyed the TV show, which we are also going to be doing an episode solely dedicated to the TV show as well. And there are some things that I felt like the TV show did really, really well that I think Lee made up for a lot. Um, moving forward with this series. So anyway, a little bit bummed. However, I do enjoy the overall series. So it's kind of fun to be back into that world. But I went ahead and bullet journaled for both of those. And I'm now trying to figure out what my next read is going to be. So my problem with starting like the first book in a series is that I then want to finish the series. So I'm kind of trying to stick to books that are maybe a duology or a standalone. So my options are for the Summer Court Travel Guide prompt, uh, Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I'm pretty sure this one is a duology, um, but it's short, it's quick. I've heard really great things. I do love a good pirate book. Um, it's enemies to lovers. So this one might kind of be like a nice little palette cleanser after Shadow and Bone. The next one is a standalone. And this one is for my winter court prompt, which is read a book with a wintry or icy setting. And it is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. However, the only thing I'm hesitant about is this would be my third book in a row that is kind of like Eastern European slash Russian folklore based um, because the Silvered Serpents takes place in Russia, Shadow and Bone is very Russian inspired, and then I'm pretty sure this one is a Eastern European retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. So I'm hesitant. Do I like lean into this theme and like read it and I'm sure love it? Or do I kind of like pull back and save this for like one of my last books of the month to read? So, but it's definitely still a possibility. And my last option is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, and this would be for the Autumn Court prompt, read a book of forest either in the title or on the cover. Um, this is about Snow White's The Evil Queen from Snow White. It's kind of her origin story, and it is East Asian inspired. Um, again, this has been highly recommended to me. Um, I've heard that it is just fantastic. I'm pretty sure that the main character is like an anti-hero. Um, I mean, she becomes the evil queen, so it kind of makes sense. It kind of reminds me of Heartless um, by Marissa Meyer, which is the origin story of the Queen of Hearts. So I'm kind of wondering if it has a similar vibe to that. However, um, I'm trying to decide between these three. Do I want? I think it's going to be split between Daughter of the Pirate King and Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. Okay, I think I'm gonna do Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, and then maybe for the next one, I'll do Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller again, and so short that I think it'll be nice and quick and easy to get through. But I think I'm going to go to the Autumn Court and read this beautiful book, and I am really, really excited. So it is Tuesday the 22nd and I am about 100 pages into A Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. 
and I like it. I do. It's very different from, I would think, a lot of the books that I normally read. Again, the main character, Shi Feng, is an anti-hero, and so um, this is like her literal villain origin story. Um, so I don't think we're supposed to like love her as a character. She's very vain. She's very selfish. She's very ambitious and not that ambition is a bad thing but she kind of takes it to an extreme um i do want to say that they definitely there should be trigger warnings for domestic abuse um, emotional and physical abuse so definitely uh, keep that in mind if you are considering reading this book however i am enjoying it so far i think i've just got to the point where like a lot of stuff is about to happen it's kind of been setting up the story um so we have an instagram live going on in just a couple of hours so i would like to make some progress on this book before the live happens um so i'm going to go ahead and start reading i have a, a, like two hours exactly um before our live starts so i'm thinking i can make pretty decent progress. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and uh, I'll keep you updated on my thoughts of the book. It is Wednesday the 23rd and I just finished Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow and I'm not gonna lie I I didn't love it um I knew that this was going to be an anti-hero a villain origin story for the evil queen in Snow White however I think I just really struggled with the main character Shi Feng and the writing was amazing. Julie C. Dow is an, an incredible writer and her imagery is beautiful. I really enjoy the writing aspect, but it truly was the main character that just, I, I couldn't ever root for her. Um, she's very violent and ambitious and jealous and conniving and bitter and like not exactly a great person which i mean makes sense because she becomes the evil queen um and she has gone through a lot in her life however it just made it difficult for me to fully get into the story because i didn't really like the main character however if you are interested in like an anti-hero or like a true villain through and through then you might absolutely love this book and again the writing is amazing but yeah it is done so i now have my autumn court stamp which i'm really excited about it was read a book with forest either in the title or on the cover um i did go ahead and bullet journal it so autumn theme on this side all my thoughts um about the book on this side so i believe that this is my eighth stamp that i have received um we still have about a week left so i'm really curious to see what other stamps I'm going to be able to get. The next book that I'm going to start is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim and this is our book buddy read for this month. Um, on Saturday we are going to have a sprint here on YouTube so it's going to be about an hour long so if you want to come and just read together that is what it's going to be for. I'm also going to be doing a vlog specifically of my reactions for this book. We're going to give the link on Instagram, Discord, and Twitter um, so it's not going to be like a live video on our YouTube. Um, you're going to have to have the link for it. So we are going to be doing that which is something that we usually just reserve for our patrons. However, we did want to open it up to everyone for this month but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already please follow us on instagram at the bibliover podcast we also have a podcast um, with over 30 episodes where we talk about different books and give all of our thoughts so if you want to go check that out the bibliover podcast we are on spotify apple and google play you can also follow us on twitter at the bibliover podcast as well as our twitter for the massive readathon specifically we also have a discord specifically for the 
the readathon and we would love for you to follow us. The link is going to be down below in the description box. But I hope you have a fantastic week. Happy reading and I'll see you next time. Thank you.